if you are new on this channel this is agribusiness 233 and agribusiness 233 always come your way with insightful and riveting stories from around ghana on agripreneurs who are making it big in the field of agribusiness today we are here on rebecca's bell pepper farm and we have incredible stories to share with you if you have not subscribed to the channel you have an opportunity to subscribe and you will be thrilled as your subscription is going to help show up the algorithm on youtube in our favor in order to be able to bring you more content from our side of the world stay tuned in and we'll be back with more so rebecca welcome to agribusiness 233 thank you yeah. you are doing an amazing job here i can see bell pepper all over and uh okay. it's about how many acres do you have here uh, let's say about one acre. It's about one acre yes. or a little over an acre, as yes, you said. Yes. So why did you get into bell pepper? You know, a beautiful lady, there are a lot of, you know, beautiful jobs out there for young ladies like yourself. Why did you choose to go into farming? Okay, farming, let's say farming is my dream because my great grandmother was a farmer. My grandma is a farmer. My mom is not a farmer though, but I chose to let my great grandma and my grandma. And besides, I'm not regretting it because it's very profitable so i'm not regretting it okay so farming can also be for beautiful ladies as yes, you can see yes yes uh, yes if you are a young lady out there and you feel that you want to start something new, you want to venture into something profitable farming or agribusiness is one of them yes. so can you tell us a bit about yourself who you are you know your upbringing you know the siblings you have the school you went to i'm 26 years of age yeah let's say Six in the family. My my mom, my dad, and we kids we are four. I have a younger sibling, one boy, two girls. Yeah. So I attended Bishop Bishop. Well, I grew up in Accra. I grew up I grew up in Accra, Kanishi. So I, I attended Jesus at, at Kanishi Bishop One. And I completed there. And after that I came to East Methodist. So I would like to find out how profitable is this business? You know, people are wondering whether, you know, getting into other business. Are you doing it full time or part time? Full time. So you're a full time farmer. Full time farmer. How, how, how does it pay you? It pays me very much. Even let's say it pays me more than other businesses like police, police women and men, the security services. I don't know. I don't know what they gain, but my my farm like i get so much profit in my farm if i tell you you won't believe it but you are telling me that uh this farm is going to generate about twelve thousand cities that's about a thousand dollars and at the end of the day you are going to get so much yield from this green pepper yes. so in all for a whole year you probably would be looking at about 25 to thirty thousand ghana cities yes please wow that is amazing and people are out there and they are resigning themselves to a thousand a month mm -hmm. she is relieved to it or something yeah. so much more yeah. wow so at, we want to find out the processes of starting this business you know people mm -hmm. are wondering about access to land okay. capital and all that how did you start it okay this farm okay my farming journey i started very very small i started with where the permanent tree is to that permanent tree it was a very small part of I was like, I was harvesting that, I wish that rubber, blue rubber. Okay. Yeah, I was harvesting, let's say, just two when I started. So, I was saving, and I was saving, and I was saving. So, the next year, that was 2021, I farmed on half an acre, and it was like, oh, wow. I never knew, like, farming was so profitable, so I became more and more interested in it. In 2022, I hide a land. No, my, my grandma she doesn't want you to use weedicide and all the, those stuff on her land. So I hide a land, an acre of land. That was 500 cities. And then I labor fee a year. A year okay. annually. So, and labor fee, I pay people to read for me because I can't read when it's so much. Yeah, so I can't read. So, they cleared the land for me then i found myself seeds and i planted oh, okay. so, so are you the one who planted all these yeah i'm the you one made the rules everything, all by yourself everything by myself. Oh, okay. 
You are very hard working. Yeah. So this year I'm taking it to the next level because this year I have about one acre of okra. This year too, I want to try maize because now maize is more <laughs> like more profitable than even cocoa. One bag of maize is I think thousand to it. Cocoa, one bag of cocoa is not even thousand to it. So I want to try maize too as well. And then I'll plant local pepper too as well. That's why I started so early. I want to finish this one and then this will be another challenge. So you started with 500 cities to hire oil? So when I started, I, I, I think that this place was just 40 cities. They also needed for me. They took just 40 cities. They used for me. Okay, so this farm But I started to... so small. I started so small. But annually, the next year, I just progressed. And the next year, I just, like, I was just, I started small. And now, here yeah, I am. So how did you get access to land? If you started with 40 Ghana cities only. Okay, this land is for my great farm. May have so rest in peace. There's no more. So no he more. was the one farming on this land. So let's say when I started, she gave me that small portion to just farm on it. And she was the one who introduced me to it. So the tea, you are in the house. Okay, you must say, I'm not joking. Why don't you plant? What the soccer man? It is true. So I followed her advice. So when she's coming to the farm, I come with her. Then I was planting. First of all, I planted plantain. So I asked him, I asked her that, ah, plantain, when is it going to, when am I going to, I said, one year, oh no. So I started doing my research, I did YouTube and other stuff, and so I was checking those crops that I don't grow fast for me to plant, and then I chose pepper. Pepper? Yeah, I chose pepper. And bell pepper is a very lucrative venture. Yes. Research shows that bell pepper is one of the most sorted after, you know, uh, vegetables. Yes. And I never knew anything about it. I never knew anything about it. So I, I, I was always online. If you see me so busy on my phone, I'm online. I'm on YouTube, just checking out farmers who are growing peppers, checking out how they do it and all that. So most of my, I learned most of my experience on YouTube. Yeah. There's one Nigeria girl, lady here. Yeah, it's about she's 33 years old. So she's the one. So how is it helping you? How is farming helping you in general? Farming is really helping me because I've been taking care of myself, my mom, my my everyone. Let's say I've been taking care of the family. So you are the breadwinner. Yes. Wow. Yes. So I'm so glad I chose this. So 26 year old breadwinner, you take care of your siblings too. And yeah, my siblings. And too. some of them are in school, right? Yeah. Yes. Please. Where 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 do you where do they school? Okay. My my. Younger brother is at Legon. Really? Yes. Yes. And then my sister, my other sister just graduated from Jessica. I think last year, yeah. And the other one was in school. Jessica still is here. Wow. This is a very impressive story. And if you're out there, you should know that agribusiness is the reality, is the real kind of business that you would never regret when you get into. Because while your body is being taken care of, you are also nourishing the world with whatever you are producing and this is going to pay you so much. As you can see, she's making so much and she at the age of 26 years is the breadwinner of her family when her grandmother passed away. Mm -hmm. Her great grandmother. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, this is Agribusiness 233 and we are here sharing one success story in agribusiness after another stay tuned in we'll be back with more i sought to find out how rebecca manages her farm all by herself and this is what she had to share yes you were talking about applying with site so you know do you do it yourself and how do you go yes, about yes, it yes i do it myself i do it myself i do everything myself the, the only thing i don't do is the reading okay the reading the reading i don't do it I so don't. how do you control weeds then okay sometimes i i i use some white i just pay someone to do it for me yeah okay. by this one as is it's very very young so i just do it like this you see if i see something the weed is getting closer to my plant. but this year 
do the round weaving. So I just plug it out from it. That's how I do my weaving. But as time goes on, I will apply with the side. Because when it starts to rain so heavy, I can't control it by plugging it. Because the weed will come plenty, plenty with the pump. So at least it's coming. I just plug it out of it. So, so we are not in the raining season so you're able to control the weeds all by yes, yourself yes. but when it becomes so heavy when the rain becomes so heavy there's going to be a lot of weeds so you have to apply weed aside yes. okay and, and most of my plants have you seen this plant i just want to check it well have you seen this plant i did top pruning when it was i think three weeks old i top pruning have you seen have you seen the spot see it okay and because i did that have you seen have you seen their branches the branches is so much so i'll get more fruit from this plant than this plant oh this i see plant, i didn't do the top thing so i'll get more fruit from this plant than this plant so how did you learn all this you were talking about employing the services of extension officers yeah how did also, you come across them okay for this top pruning thing i came across it on youtube oh you learned it on youtube yeah, and it's yeah. working very well it's on your farm really working it's like much have you seen this one the branches is coming and i'm so happy right? so i'll get more fruit on this plant than this one have you seen this one i didn't cut it so if i had to pruning it like it would be like you would have more branches a lot of branches and but that will produce one, a lot of fruits yes so wow okay. this is a millionaire minded farmer my team followed rebecca to her second farm and this is what we have to so share. this is also your farm right yes, please. okay so you how how big is this farm oh this farm is very very big very very big let's see about four acres because this is about four acres yes and what have you here what have you planted here please this pepper this are local pepper oh okay no fertilizer this farm is organic so all your farms are organic farms yes please no no chemical fertilizer. I just use the the normal or a uh, local fertilizer, the chicken manure. That's what I use to see how big it is. Okay. And this farm is actually one year old, but still I'm just harvesting. It's one year old. This is a one year old so pepper farm. farm. Yes, please. And you also have plantain intercropped. Yes, please. So do you work here all by yourself? Come again. So all you do this farm all by yourself? Yes. Wow, then you should be very, very strong. Oh, do you work hard or you work smart? I work smart. Okay. And I work hard too. Because I do everything by myself. This farm, I, I actually did it. I, I did a mix farming. I did okra and then pepper. So you've seen the okra here. Okay. I did a mix So farm. you've already harvested the okra? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that now? Was last year. You have pepper? Yeah. We wanted to find out how a typical day in Rebecca's life was. So we followed her to her house to inquire about how she starts her day and how she manages her agribusiness from her house. She's my grandma. She's also a farmer. She's yeah. a cocoa farmer and a plantain farmer. 
Right. So, and he's the one who owned the land that I found for. Oh, so, okay. She is my shareholder. Let's uh, say she's the one who, who produced the land for me. Great. Yeah. So you moved all the way from Accra, Kaneshi, to come here to go into agribusiness. Yes, please. And something yeah. perhaps may have motivated you. Okay, as I was saying in my the previous video, that my my great grandma was the one who introduced me into farming. No, me here so rest in peace. Was the one who introduced me to farming. They beg you to go plant, plant it. It will it will grow and you harvest it. So the one who introduced me to farming. That's great, mommy. You are doing a great job. Thank you. <laughs> now we yeah. want to learn about your motivation. What actually motivated you to go into our business? Okay, as I was saying, my grandma was the one who introduced my great grandma was the one who introduced me into farming. But my great my greatest motivation are my 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 siblings. Yes, my siblings. Because I really want them to go far. Yeah. So when I look to them when I look at them, like it motivates me to just work so hard to help them. Yeah. You said you were living in Accra and yeah. you took a decision to come, to come here. You know, to come yeah. to a village to start yeah. a business. Yeah. And this is agribusiness. You know, it's a very bold decision. Very yes. few people will take that decision. <laughs> what actually encouraged you to do that? As I was saying, when I was coming, it wasn't my mindset to start an agribusiness. But when I got here, as I was saying, my grandma, my great grandma said, Oh, you are in the house, you're not doing anything, you're not getting any job. So why don't you go into farming? Just plan something. Just plan something. You can, you can. Even if you don't have money, you go to your farm. You get one plant, just for yourself, so that you eat. So she's my biggest motivation, my motivator. Like she and she was a farmer, so she was the one I was looking up to. Yeah. And she really gave me she really she really inspired me a lot. And when you came here, uh, do you find the decision to be a very you know, sane decision? Do you yeah, think yeah, it's a, a good decision? Yeah, 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 I've never regretted it. And why do you think so? Why should I'm, people believe you? I'm really thankful because, you know, farming, farming, I've, um, I've said it, like, farming is a very profitable business, you know. You will never lose, especially in pepper farming. You can make big money through a very small portion. I think this is something that I've never regretted and I'll never regret it. Were you offered any opportunities before you came to agribusiness? Were you didn't you have any jobs and why did you decide to you know go full time into agribusiness? Okay, I was doing side businesses like I was trading. I was trading, I was into ladies' bags, ladies' dresses and all that but it was as i was saying it was delaying it was delaying my farming business so and the farming business too was so profitable than what that trading that i was into so i just took a i, I make a decision that you know this is delaying what i'm doing this is giving me more money than this so why don't i leave it and just go full time just go into farming full time so that's how i decided to go full time so now i'm a full time Agri agribusiness agribusiness entrepreneur. Yeah, and so. you know, a full-time agribusiness entrepreneur. You know, a lot of people watching us, they've been to maybe university, they've been some have been to you know training colleges and they have you know chasing jobs here and there. Some have written applications to thousands of companies, none of them have given them a try. And there are those who even have their CVs, you know, uh, in a dozen companies. And here's a case. People are not finding jobs. And do you think agribusiness is something that can absorb young people who are unemployed and are just running around town doing nothing? Yes, yes. You know, why, why, like, we have land. Our forefathers really left us land. So you have land, you have access to land. So why don't you come into agribusiness? You are chasing for jobs, you are not getting it. So are you going to sit there for you to get old? Right? Don't get some food. You know, I don't know why some of us youth don't want to partake in farming businesses. It's because maybe the education about farming is true. We don't have much education about farming. We don't have much 
you are not educated about farming that farming is a business not a punishment because many of them have the idea that if you read you are punishing yourself but they don't know that it's actually a business not a punishment so i think that's how they see it that's why they don't want to they see it as punishment but it's been a real business so this is rebecca here and if you're a young person and you are 20, 25 years, you are 30 years, 40 years, and you think you are unemployed, there are no opportunities here in Ghana. You are not hearing this from a male. You are hearing this from a 26-year-old female, and she is a full-time entrepreneur, and she's making so much money. That's her livelihood. She supports her siblings in school. He has a brother at the university that he supports, and he, she is actually the breadwinner, taking care of the grandma, and also helping out with everything this family has done. She has bigger projections for the future and it is possible here in Ghana. So how do you see Becky's farm perhaps in the next five years or ten years? In the next five years or ten years, Becky farm will be like very big, very, very, very big. I want to go into animal finding. Even five years is too long. In the next three years, I want to I want to be in a, I want to be in an animal farming and also anything concerning farming, anything concerning agriculture. I want to be in it. So in the next three years, I see myself to be like Becky Farm is very big, very big, very big. And you said you want to purchase a bigger line so that you go into agriculture. Yes, please. You want to process your. This is where we draw the curtains on this edition. You catch us same time on the same channel. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel because your subscription is going to help you know show up the algorithm on our platform in order that you can see more of our stories on YouTube. And also we would need you to you know press the notification button and uh, you're going to be notified anytime we share this content. It's Agribusiness 233, and we'll come to you again with an impressive edition. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.